This is a bottle full of water. Now, let's pour some water in this glass. This glass is full of water. But, as we can see, there is some more water in this bottle. So, we can say that the capacity of this bottle is more than the capacity of this glass. Measurement of capacity Substances like water, milk, petrol, oil, etc. are called liquids. The capacity of a container is the quantity of liquid it can hold. We measure the quantity of a liquid in liters and milliliters. Liters are denoted by L and milliliters are denoted by ML. These type of vessels are generally used to measure liquids like petrol, oil, kerosene, etc. This vessel, when completely filled, holds 1 liter liquid. This 500 ml. This 200 ml. This 100 ml. This 50 ml. These type of vessels are generally used to measure liquids like milk and oil. 1 liter 500 ml 200 ml 100 ml and 50 ml Measuring capacity in liters and milliliters Large quantities of liquid are measured in liters For example, water in a bucket 10 liters, 20 liters. Milk that we buy, 1 liter, 2 liters. Oil, ghee that we buy, 5 liters, 10 liters. Petrol in petrol tankers, 500 liters or 1000 liters. Small quantities of liquid are measured in milliliters. For example, medicine in an injection 1 ml, 3 ml, or 5 ml. Milk given to a baby 100 ml or 200 ml. Cuff syrup or tonic that we buy 50 ml or 100 ml. Ketchup or soft drink that we buy 300 ml or 500 ml. Addition of capacities To add capacities in liters or milliliters we simply add the numbers and write the unit. Addition of capacities. Students, now let's solve some examples. 75 ml plus 12 ml is equal to how much? Let's find out. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So, let's write 7. 7 plus 1 
is equal to how much? Right, eight. So, seventy five ml plus twelve ml is equal to eighty seven ml. Now, let's solve this example. 156 ml plus 228 ml is equal to how much? Let's count. 6 plus 8 is equal to, let's count. 14. So, Four here and one carry forward. Now one plus five is equal to six and six plus two is equal to eight. So let's write eight. One plus two is equal to three. So one hundred and fifty six ML plus two hundred and twenty eight ML is equal to three hundred and eighty four ML. Now let's solve these examples. 43 liters plus 26 liters is equal to how much? Let's find out. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. Four plus two is equal to correct six so forty three liters plus twenty six liters is equal to sixty nine liters let's solve this example three hundred and sixty seven liters plus 528 liters is equal to how much? Let's find out. 7 plus 8 is equal to, count and tell me. Right, that is 15. So, 5 here and 1 carry forward. Now, 1 plus 6 is equal to 7 and 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So, 367 liters plus 528 liters is equal to 895 liters. Now let's solve this example. 32 liters, 429 milliliters plus 48 liters. 382 milliliters. Let's solve. 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. So, let's write 1 here and 1 carry forward. Now, 1 plus 2 
is equal to 3 and 3 plus 8 is equal to 11. So, let's write 1 here and 1 carry forward. Now, 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 and 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Two plus eight is equal to ten. So let's write zero and one carry forward. Now one plus three is equal to four, and four plus four is equal to eight. So, 32 liters, 429 milliliters plus 48 liters, 382 milliliters is equal to 80 liters and 811 milliliters. Subtraction of capacities. Subtraction of capacities. Let's solve a few examples. 95 ml minus 73 ml is equal to how much? 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. 9 Minus 7 is equal to 2. 2. So, 95 ml minus 73 ml is equal to 22 ml. Let's solve this example. 782 ml minus 537 ml. Let's find out. 2 minus 7. But students, 2 minus 7 is not possible. So, so let's borrow. 8 becomes 7. 2 becomes 12. Now, 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. Seven minus 3 is equal to how much? Count and tell me. 4. Right. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. So, 782 ml minus 537 ml is equal to 245 ml. Let's solve these examples 87 liters minus 62 liters is equal to how much? Let's count. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. So, 87 liters minus 62 liters is equal to 25.
5 liters. Now let's solve this example. 638 liters minus 474 liters is equal to how much? Let's find out. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. 3 minus 7. Students, as we all know, 3 minus 7 is not possible. So, let's borrow. 6 becomes 5. 3 becomes 13. Now, 13 minus 7 is equal to 6. And 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. So, 638 liters minus 400 and 74 liters is equal to 164 liters. Let's look at this example. 83 liters, 639 milliliters minus 51 liters, 462 milliliters. Let's solve. 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. So let's write 7. 3 minus 6. But 3 minus 6 is not possible. So let's borrow. 6 becomes 5. 3 becomes 13. Now, 13 minus 6 is equal to 7. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. So, 83 liters, 639 milliliters minus 51 liters, 462 milliliters is equal to 32 liters. 177 milliliters. Word problems on addition of capacities. Petrol tank of my car had 30 liters of petrol. I filled 15 liters more. So, total how much petrol is there in my car? Let's find out. The petrol tank of my car had 30 liters. Let's write 30 liters. I filled 15 liters more. Let's write 15 liters. So, total, how much petrol is there? We need to find total petrol. So, let's add. Thirty liters plus fifteen liters is how much? Let's count. Zero plus five is equal to five. 3 
प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू फोर थर्टी लीटर्स प्लस फिफ्टीन लीटर्स इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव लीटर्स सो नाउ माई कार हैज फोर्टी फाइव लीटर पेट्रोल वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ कैपेसिटीज आई परचेस्ड फाइव हंड्रेड एम एल जूस माई सिस्टर ड्रैंक टू हंड्रेड एम एल सो हाउ मच जूस इज लेफ्ट फॉर मी लेट्स फाइंड आउट आई परचेस्ड फाइव हंड्रेड एम एल जूस सो लेट्स राइट फाइव हंड्रेड एम एल My sister drank two hundred ml. Let's write two hundred ml. We have to find how much juice is left. So we will subtract. Let's find how much is five hundred ml minus. 200 ml 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 again 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 So, five hundred ml minus two hundred ml is equal to three hundred ml. So there is three hundred ml juice left for me. Let's make a lemon drink. Students, now I'm going to make a very tasty lemon drink. Let's start. a glass of water sugar 3 tsp sugar one two Three. Salt. Pinch of salt. Now lemon juice. Half lemon. Let's squeeze. Around fifteen to twenty drops of lemon. Let's stir. Our lemon juice is ready. Let's garnish the juice with some mint leaves. Mint leaves, so attractive, tasty. Students, to make one glass of lemon drink, I used one glass of water, three teaspoon sugar, pinch of salt, and fifteen drops of lime juice. that is half lemon so based on this i am going to ask you a few questions how many drops of juice we got from half a lemon so from half a lemon we got around 15 drops of juice from full lemon we will get 
How many drops of juice? Let's find out. From half a lemon, we got around 15 drops. So tell me students, how much juice we will get from full lemon? 15 drops from half a lemon. So we will get around 30 drops of juice from full lemon. How many lemons we will need for 4 glasses of juice? Let's find out. We used half lemon for 1 glass. So you tell me students, for 4 glass, how many lemons are required? Half for 1 glass. So we require 2 lemons for 4 glass of juice. How much salt we will need for 4 glasses of juice? Students, look at the board and answer my question. Pinch of salt for 1 glass. So, 4 pinches of salt for 4 glasses. Very good. How much sugar we will need for 4 glasses of juice? Let's solve this question. For making 1 glass lemon drink, I used 3 teaspoons of sugar. So, you tell me students, for making 4 glasses of juice, we will require how many teaspoons? 1 glass requires 3 teaspoons. So, 4 glasses will require 12 teaspoons of sugar. Very good. How much money should you pay? My students put up a watermelon juice stall in the school. They sold small glass of juice for 5 rupees and a big glass of juice for 10 rupees. Now, based on this, Answer these questions. To buy two small glasses and one big glass, how much money you will need to pay? Let's find out. To buy two small glasses. One small glass cost rupees 5. We need to buy two glasses. So, 5 plus 5 and 1 big glass. 1 big glass. 1 big glass cost rupees 10. So, plus 10. 5 plus 5 plus 10. Let's solve. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. And 10 plus 10 is equal to, you tell me? Right, 20. So 5 plus 5 plus 10 is equal to 20 rupees. So, to buy two small glasses and one big glass, you will have to pay 20 rupees. Now tell me students, to buy three big glasses and one small glass, how much money you will need to pay? Let's count. We have to buy three big glasses. One big glass is for rupees 10. So, 10 plus 10 plus 10. And we also have to buy one small glass. One small glass. 
and one small glass is for rupees 5 so plus 5 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 is equal to how much let's count 10 plus 10 is equal to 20 20 Plus ten is equal to thirty. Thirty plus five is equal to thirty-five. Thirty-five rupees. So for buying three big glasses and one small glass, we will have to pay thirty-five rupees. Which one holds? More water put greater than or less than sign. Students, tell me which one holds more water? Here we have a jug, a glass. Tell me, students, which one holds more water? Jug or glass? Right, jug. Jug holds more water, so let's put a greater than sign. Here we have a bowl and a pot. Tell me, students, which one holds more water? Bowl, pot. Tell me. Correct, pot. In this example we have a bucket and a mug tell me students which one holds more water bucket or mug correct that is bucket very good so jug holds more water than glass pot holds more water than bowl and bucket holds more water than mug students little homework for you take three different vessels from your kitchen take a jug full of water and pour water into those vessels and observe which vessel holds more water students Now I'm going to show you a very interesting story of thirsty crow. Let's watch it. I'm sure you're going to like it. Chintu was a clever crow. Once he left home in search of food. It was a very hot summer. Oh, I'm feeling very thirsty. He started searching for water. He looked everywhere but did not find any. At last he found a jug in which there was very little water he could not reach the water he thought for a while hmm i have an excellent idea he started picking up stones from around the place and dropped them one by one into the pot till the water rose up soon the water came up he drank the water and happily flew away moral never give up students There is some homework for you. Take two glasses and fill them half with water. In one glass add some pebbles. In the other glass add few imli seeds and see the difference. The milkman. Every day my mother uses this vessel for buying milk. Our milkman gives us milk using this vessel two times so our vessel is completely filled but today i used this vessel for buying milk even today the milkman used this vessel for two times but the vessel 
did not completely fill. So what do you think students? Did the milkman cheat me? No, the milkman did not cheat me. The capacity of this vessel is more than the capacity of this vessel. So, this vessel can hold more milk than this vessel. So, we can say that the milkman did not cheat me. Water is useful. Students, water is very useful to us in our day-to-day -day life. We use water for cooking, drinking, bathing, washing clothes, washing vessel and so many different things. Water is very useful. So, we should not waste water. We should always save water. Students, now come on tell me, how many glasses of water do you drink every day? Come on tell me, how many glasses of water do you drink? Okay, I will tell you about myself. I drink 10 to 12 glasses of water every day. 10 to 12 glasses every day. Now tell me students, for taking bath, how many buckets of water you use? Tell me students, how many buckets of water you use? Okay, I will tell about myself. I use one bucket of water for bathing. So, one bucket water. Now tell me, how many mugs of water are needed to fill one bucket? Now tell me students, how many mugs are needed? Think and tell me. Right. We require around 20 mugs of water to fill one bucket. So, let's write 20. 20 mugs of water to fill one bucket. 